I'm going to run you through a couple of the extra features that uh, are very, very useful when using your reel. And uh, important also uh, in some respects because you can damage your tackle if you, uh, if you don't choose to utilise these functions. Uh, the most commonly asked question I get is about the auto stop feature of the reel. And uh, because the reel has a system within it where it will stop the line from retrieving when it's under the power of the motor at certain stages. Uh, there is a default setting that's in there that will stop the line at five metres, uh, but you can of course adjust that uh, depending on the fishing situation you're in uh, and how you'd like it to work. You can have it stopping 10 centimetres from the rod tip or you can actually make it stop at the water level. The water level tends to be a common place for people to choose purely because it stops your rig flailing around in the wind, stops the, the boat hull being damaged by heavy leads etc. Um, but it's a really really easy thing to set. Uh, it can be done at any stage, any time, even if you re-rig uh, throughout the day because of a break off. It's very very simple to set um, and it's also extremely useful and needs to be reset if for some reason uh, your line comes right onto the reel uh, with a tag end and you've, you've spun the motor uh, with, with just your braided line running around and around in circles. So to set that length all I do is I press my reset button and I hold it down for two seconds. One, two, lift, and that'll give me a zero on the screen. I'm now going to disengage the reel and I'm going to let that reel drop to the point that I would like it to drop. And we're going to say one and a half, maybe two meters, just there. Lock that back into gear. And we've got a little button here which has INV CNTR. It means Inverse uh, is, is the actual uh, term that they use in the manual, but if we hold that down for two seconds, one, two, release, that reel is now going to auto stop at two metres from the rod tip every single time I retrieve it. So if I now let out another bunch of line, run it out to, you know, say 10 metres, Just like that, and I now choose to retrieve. And watching that line counter, it's going to come up to the two meter mark and stop. And we've stopped. If I want to keep going, I can back my throttle lever off. You'll hear an audible beep, and I can then start the motor up again if I need to, or I can, of course, manually turn the handle just to control my rig, get my rig back into the boat, rebate, whatever it is that I might have to do. The next function I want to show you is a really cool one. It's a jigging function that's inherently built into the, uh, the computer or the IC module of the reel and it allows you to do some really cool things with your, you, with your baits or your lures when they're down in the depths. Uh, some people do get a little bit mind boggled by the idea of programming a computer so to speak but it's actually not that difficult. Um, and once you get the hang of it, there's a, there's a couple of steps in doing it. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually really, really simple and you can change it at any time. It's not something that needs to be done at home before you go. You can change it out on the water whenever you actually like to do it. We have a mode button, reset button here at the top. We're going to use our mode button because that's going to change what mode our computer is in. When I change that, the first click I get, a C the letter C will appear on my screen and that's the, that's the jigging function mode. We actually use also our throttle lever to change settings within our computer. Uh, the default setting that's in here for the jigging function is called the one, two, three setting. Um, and as I move through the arc of the lever, I will come up with a one, two, three on the screen, which is a jig mode. I can keep going to mode one, mode two, mode three, or I can choose the whole lot together. So there's actually, in this particular one, there's four separate modes that I can choose from. I'll stick with the one, two, three setting for the moment. Again, press the mode button, and we're going to go to another setting, which is a length setting, and that's our jig length. I can set the length of my jig, or the length of the drawing of line per jig uh, that I prefer. I can drop it down to one meter, which is the shortest increment, and I can run it right up to five meters at full length. So if I come down to say, say I want a jig length of one and a half meters, I'll leave it there, hit the mode button again, and that's set. The next one I've got is the jigging pause time. I can actually set the amount of time I want it to pause between jigs. The default setting, which it's currently at, is four seconds. I'm gonna reduce that. I think that's too long. 
I'm going to drop that down to two, collect my mode button again, and <clears throat> I'm now in a mode that's called jigging range. Now, I don't particularly use this function very often, but it, what it does is it allows you, if you're in for say 150 metres of water, there's a school of fish sitting at 120, you can drop this to the bottom and you can set your jigging range from 140 metres to 100 metres and it will use that jigging function only through that depth of water. Now that we've set our jigging function, the last thing we get to do is choose whether we want to see our line speed on display. And again, using the eccentric of the throttle lever, I bring that up, we get an on or an off displayed on the screen. I'm going to pick on, select my mode switch again. Back to the beginning of the sequence where we've got our zero line display. And all I do now is let out the line, dropping my weight to the bottom select the reel back into gear and I have a jig pickup button here on the lower left. I'm going to push that jig pickup button and watch my reel go to work. There are many reasons why we may want to refer back to or reset our factory default settings within our electric reel. We might have had a great jigging session and have decided to spend the afternoon dropping some deep baits, so we want to remove that program. Or we may be going uh, fishing on a different boat to what you were on last week. Much higher sides on one boat to another, you may want to reset your deep drop or your, your tip drop section uh, to, uh, to accommodate that particular boat. So it's a very, very simple function. There's two separate ways we can do it, and it's both with our reset button. Holding that reset button down for a period of two seconds before release will reset back to default the particular function that we may have just programmed, whether that be our drop from our rod tip or uh, a jigging function. If we hold that button down for five seconds before release, it will reset all the factory settings back to the default that's within the computer. And to be perfectly honest, that particular factory setting uh, will suit the vast majority of fishing situations as it is. So if I hold down that reset button, two, three, four, five, release, I get an audible beep and you can see on the screen there that our previous set speed setting and our uh, depth has gone back to zero, ready to start from scratch.